Good morning. It's Sunday. I hope everybody's having a really nice weekend. I am. And I'm getting ready to do my Sunday morning shave. And I've got a little cup of coffee. Oh, hazelnut cappuccino or something my daughter made for me. Hope everybody is well. And uh, this is John. And I'm going to do a shave. So first I'm going to take my towel that I use. It's wet, just damped. And I'm going to fold it into thirds like I normally would. So I could wipe my straight razor off. It's important to have that on your... Uh, on your countertop. So today's soap is going to be an amazing soap. I truly like this a lot. It's Dirty South Shavers Facebook Group's Barnstormer. And this soap is tallow-based. It's based on Stetson by Cody, the original Stetson cologne. Um, I happened to get this piff to me by Scott Cry in the uh, Dirty South Shavers group. So thank you again, Scott, for piffing this to me. And uh, I absolutely use it. And I'm going to be matching it up today with the Stetson Aftershave and Cologne. And here's the bottles so you guys could see. And the interesting thing is this was a gift set. Here's the box. This is a Stetson. 1980s vintage gift set that was given to me by a very good friend of mine, Tony McKenzie. And uh, Tony uh, is a very nice guy. And thank you, Tony. If you get to watch this video, there's a little shout out for a thank you. And um, my brush today is going to be this beautiful, beautiful Dirty South Shavers 2016. That's my uh, brush that I got from the group. And it's got a 24 millimeter game changer knot in it, an AMAC knot. And this was made by um, Kelly from K Shave Works for the group. So that's the brush and I've got it. I just like to dip it in some water. Now my razor today is a Wade & Butcher 5 8 square tip and it's called the Bluebird Dry Hone. If you could see this and it's uh, I have not seen many others that are uh, that are waiting butchers like this so um, this is honed up and ready to shave so let's do this so I've got my barnstormer and I'm just going to uh, take my bloom water and start prepping my face with it And it's absolutely a really nice towel-based formula. I, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure who actually made it for the group or if you can even get it anymore, but I would absolutely look into it if I were you. I'm gonna pour off the remainder of my bloom water. I'm gonna take my brush and let's load the brush. So, this is based on Stetson, and I I had Stetson, the original Stetson from the 80s that was, like I said, I just showed you. And then I also have the newer Stetson, and I think this smells more like uh, maybe a mix between the old and the new. I'd like to know what you guys think if you have it and have used it. So I know as far as um, brush knots, they've come out with a bunch of new, everybody's got a new brush knot every other day, but tried and true, I think that this particular knot is my favorite synthetic knot of all time. And my dad used to tell me, if something is not broken, don't fix it. So. I have a couple of brushes with this particular knot in it. And I feel that, like my dad said, it works. It works really well. It's got a good face feel and it really works well. So why would you mess with it? 
right? It's a masterpiece. Don't mess with it. So I'm just drying my hands off. You don't want to touch a straight razor with wet hands. If you were to drop it, you could cut yourself. So here we go. So just so you guys know, what I do with all of my square tip razors is I run the tip just a tiny bit on a piece of glass to dull it off so I don't cut my face off. And uh, let's do this. Remember, when you're using a straight razor and you get to the point where you're on your chin, what I do is I roll the razor between my thumb and my forefingers, like so. So it looks like this. So I'm not, I'm not bringing it down with my wrist. I'm rolling it with my finger. If you could see that, it's absolutely shaving just beautifully. It is a Wade and Butcher, so it's a nice vintage razor. This is one of the razors that's for sale. I hone these razors and uh, there are, there, I have five or six razors for sale on my site. In, look in the catalogs, you'll find my collections. This is a nice hollow ground razor, and you can uh, you can absolutely hear the uh, the singing of the blade. So it's a it's a, it's a nice razor. Remember to always stretch. You always want to stretch your skin. Close your razor in between passes, and just. I'm gonna wet my face down a little and fuel my hair to see which way I still need to shave. And uh, that particular pass was with the grain, the way my hair grows. Wow, this stuff really smells nice. And uh, it's it's got nice slickness. It's very good, it's got a lot of cushion. You could see that it's, uh, look at the cushion on this and look, look at that residual slickness that's left underneath there. And uh, I know I show you uh, whenever I'm using a soap, that residual slickness. So now we're going to do a second pass. Start on my, by my earlobe and work my way into. But everybody's got to have to find the map of their face so they know which direction their hair grows in. And remember, always stretch. I'm growing this mustache out so I have to kind of lift it up out of the way.
Let's do the other side. You find that correct angle between the blade, spine, and your skin so that you're, it might be 30 degrees, it might be 32, it could be 35, it could be 25. It all depends on what feels right for you. I put my tongue in behind my skin of my lower lip to push it out so that I can get a really good close shave there. Very nice, very nice. And now for my neck, I'm gonna come up in the middle and I'm gonna come on the sides, I'm gonna come at an angle outward like this. Now everybody's beard grows a little different obviously, so you, uh, if your beard is more coarse than mine, you might find it, you know, you might need to strop your, your razor a little more. And you could see I went at an angle this way. I didn't go straight down or straight up, I went at an angle. And that absolutely took off a bunch of hair right there. So it's nice. And the same thing on this side. Very nice. That's also one of the reasons, because when you're going at an angle on your neck, you have to use the tip of the razor or the top third of the razor to be able to get close. So it makes sense that as long as I dull that tip off just a tiny bit, just so that I can, I'm not gonna feel like I'm cutting myself, but at the same time, I'm taking my time if you want a BBS shave with a straight razor, doesn't matter what straight razor you're using, you, you need to take your time. You cannot rush through it. Move that mustache. Very nice.
I'm just going to turn my razor around. Very good. I just want to make sure it's nice and smooth in every direction. You know, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want to make sure. And then on my neck over here, I'm going straight up. Very nice. And I'll do the same on the other side. There you go, three passes. My razor today was this um, uh, beautiful Wade & Butcher Bluebird Dry Hone 5 8 square tip. It has a little bit of uh, marks on this, but it's vintage, so, and I believe I'm have it on my site for sale for $38 plus shipping, if anyone's interested. Um, and I'll put a link below where to pick that up so you can go to my site. Dirty South Shavers Barnstormer Stetson. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now I'm going to use the vintage. This is the vintage aftershave. And uh, let me just shake it up. You always want to shake up your aftershave. Okay, so just so you know, there is no restrictor. So you got to be very limited, careful with how much you pour out. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Now, when you're applying your uh, cologne, you want to apply that after and let your face heal up for a few minutes before you put that on before you leave. So I will not, I will be using this before I leave, but I won't be putting it on for 30 minutes. My brush again is the Dirty South Shavers 2016 uh, limited edition brush that we got for the group with a game changer 24 millimeter knot in it. And uh, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and click on the little doohickey so that you guys get notified when I have a new video out. I do one once a week now. And um, have a wonderful, wonderful day and even better shave. Take care, my friends.